so people think i hate safety and it's not really true i just don't get as excited about safety as other people do because sometimes if teams don't have safeties then the fan bases in those teams tend to want anybody except the guy that they have and you know sometimes they could be getting worse at safety but sometimes people just over obsess um and sometimes you have to think about what makes a safety really good you know or what makes a regular safety a regular safety i've been on this smear campaign for uh the the handful of guys that people really like in this class and that's cool uh there are some safeties i like in this class there are safeties i like in every class but you know this is coming down to, to me losing my mind over a safety and i really don't lose my mind over safety but i got into richie grant around like the end of january or so and i lost my mind watching richie grant so let's take a look at this play right this is why i think richie grant is 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 very very impressive as a safety and why i want him on my team right now um i think there's a difference between creating turnovers and just like getting them you know like do you draft the dude that forces 10 fumbles or the dude that falls on 10 fumbles you know what i mean yeah the dude that fell on the fumble gets the gets the credit for the recovery you know but i want the dude that made the turnover matter of fact let's watch this richie grant play he's here but let's watch this play in silencio and let's just absorb everything that richie grant is doing mind you he's on the right hash right now he's on the offensive right hash right now let's keep playing make sure that music is off watch this look at this look at this oh boy that's what separates richie grant ladies and gentlemen i smacked the hell on my table my bad that's what separates richie grant from most of the safeties that people say that they like that's what's different if you like a safety better than Richie Grant, show me a play like that. Let's watch from this angle. See, Richie Grant's on this right hash right now. Let me bump it forward two times. Here we go. Richie's on this right hash right now. And look at the ground that he covers. Damn, damn. All right, cut the music back on. Let's talk about this. So why did Richie Grant cover ground like this, right? It's a couple ways to cover ground as a free safety. And that's basically going to differentiate whether you're special or not right you can cover ground with instinct you can cover ground with iq you can cover ground with flat out speed right um ed reed is a legend because he was able to capture all that and i've been trying to explain for the longest the difference between instinct and iq i'm going to show you some more plays some more examples of that later but 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 i really figured it out when i started watching richie grant right like instinct is something that you feel iq is something that you see you see what i'm saying let's let's uh snap the football right here here, right we're gonna get a snap and richie's just gonna feel his way in that direction now he's the single high guy so he's got to be in that area anyway and single high guy meaning one safety on the roof shots out to Fuster king i've taken that terminology from him shots out to him go check out his channel cowboy nation tv um a safety on the roof right one high guy so he's gonna be in that that area anyway but he's gonna give you a little drift because he feels but then what does he see he sees the quarterback looking in that direction he feels like after seeing that he's gonna plant his feet to get ready to throw this football right so richie grant has already turned and hauled ass right now take a look at him he's hauling ass right now he's ready to run and the quarterback hasn't even gone through the first portion of his throwing motion yet because he's already felt it and he's already saw it so so now Richie's halfway in flight before the ball even comes out. That's special, right? What's separating him from another one of these safeties that I, that I don't like personally, that I'm not going to say their name here. They don't deserve that. I'm not going to say their name, but let's say um, you're one of those. I was in the right place at the right time safeties. Let's run this play a little bit. Say the quarterback, right? He wants to throw the ball like around here but there was a tip and the ball ended up in the air and Richie Grant was there and Richie caught the interception. Yes, that's a cool interception for being in the right place at the right time. Shouts out to you, sir. But there are fans that'll look at that right place, right timeness and give super big credit just because they got it. Yeah, you received the turnover, but you didn't force it. You didn't force it. Richie Grant being on the right hash and, be, and ending up on the left numbers because of something that he saw, that's forcing a turnover, which is different. Let's watch some more plays with Richie Grant. That's the last uh, Tulsa play I'm going to show because Tulsa get kind of funny with their film being on the internet. But I had to show this one play from Richie Grant. Let's keep running. 
take a look at this play. This is uh, Principal Clark, Sam's Loaded Lux, and Richie Grant playing on the roof. Let's take a look at them. Read the play. Read the play. Get over. Get there, dude. Let me tell you something, man. And you can ask a lot of safeties. Like, go like go find an ex-safety and, and just ask them. A lot of guys aren't comfortable playing high because it's the more room you have to navigate, the more mistakes that you have making. Richie Grant clearly looks comfortable up here, right? Now, I really want you to catch this pass, right? Like, if you catch this, it's a difference between, you know, they get to play another down or the difference between a pass deflection and an interception. I get it. But I don't expect, you know, my safety to have wide receiver hands. Yeah, make that catch sometimes. You 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 kidding me? Yeah, like so like make that catch sometimes, but for the most part, like just get there. Get there and we'll work on everything uh once we make it. How about this? Here's another trait that I really like from Richie Grant. Everybody write this down. Richie Grant can identify the shit out some routes. Okay, write that down. It will be on the test. Take a look at Richie Grant right here, and then we're gonna bring it back and talk about it a little bit. Um, he's just gonna be in coverage versus this receiver here, and he's gonna definitely make this play. Now, Vach, how is this an IQ play? Well, look at the setup that we have here, right? We got three receivers on one side, and we're kind of three versus three right now. So that's cool. Um, but if you get to this point, everybody you can kind of talk in the chat box you can talk in the comment section right now if you had to guess what this receiver was gonna do here right what do you think he's gonna do now it's easy for us to to kind of sit back and say what he might do right but it's different being in the, in that moment on the field in that fast of an environment and breaking down what a receiver might do in front of you in my mind if you got two guys over here and you're the inside guy and you're on this hash you're probably gonna keep running inside on the hashes so you're gonna try to get this seam thing going right well if i feel like you're gonna break inside i'm just gonna break inside with you i'm just gonna turn my hips and break inside with you right he almost has these cornerback like instincts right these cornerback coverage instincts and that's another thing that kind of makes him special that he can play on the roof and he can cover guys now the next series of plays i'm going to show you what's more what i would call instinct but it still falls in the route falls in the realm of i can identify the shit out of these routes let's keep watching what you'll see a lot when you're watching richie play is you'll see him see a route and just feel his way towards it right and this may not always be the quarterback going in that direction you know but you just see hey if the quarterback did go that direction richie would be there to make a tackle or richie would be there to make a play on the football like like watch richie grant here like he's not going to be involved in this play but um look at him in contrast to uh to uh to this offensive player right here right take a look at him right richie's gonna feel feel i'm just gonna get there right just being able to bite on a route quick like that i think that's about route recognition i think that's about feel let me give you another example richie grant right here if your eyes are gonna go in that direction i'm gonna feel in that direction richie grant sitting on the u of the logo here he's gonna see it see it feel and just end up in that direction now when you get to the league you're gonna take away a lot of plays just simply understanding what an offense is doing right i like smart football players you know you you can get all the all the super athletes you want and there's nothing wrong with super athletes there's a time and a place for super athletes there's actually richard grant right there there's a time and place for super athletes but i'll take a cool to really good athlete that's football smart let's keep watching i got more one last thing before we uh, end this and have a conversation about the player, uh, you probably want to know about his tackling. And that's another thing that really puts Richie up my board a little bit, right? Because uh, in my mind, he's a free safety. He's not a strong, but if he had to play strong in a pinch, I would let him do it because he's so willing to tackle. I think he's a pretty solid tackler. Um, you know, we sometimes see a lot of freeze that don't want to tackle or they have no desire to tackle or they can't tackle uh, or, or we'll see these box safeties that can't cover or they can't play on the roof. They can't play with uh, with any kind of range, you know, coverage or anything like that. Richie Grant is not going to tackle like a box safety. That's not what you, that's not what he's here for. But what he is is a down as aggressive as free safety tackling dude right there's another safety in his class i'm not going to mention him right now but he's he tackles like a free safety he's one of those guys that'll oh my god fall and grab a shoestring or he'll always you know just try to cut a guy and hope that he trips over him not really down to tackle i think richie grant is a free safety that's down to tackle uh let me show you a few more examples 
right here like i said he's he's not gonna be like a super strong safety tackling dude but he is a dude that'll go get some that that's all i can ask for from a free safety that's all i can ask for and this may have been your your um you know somebody's criticism about grand delpit this could be a criticism somebody had about juan thornhill or something wanting some another example I said I wasn't going to say names. Oh, well, too bad. Richie Grant here uh, wanting some. Like I said, he's not special as a tackler like he's a strong safety. So if you want to ding him on something, yeah, you can ding him on that. He's not like a super tackly dude, but wanting some. I was going to wrap up here, but I just had to show you one more of Richie Grant laying wood from depth. Um, and this is the portion of the uh, of the video where we kind of, uh, you know, turn the film off and just have a conversation about the player. We just talk about how they fit. So um, if you just came for the film, hey, man, appreciate y'all. Uh, if y'all want some uh, some some more context, I appreciate y'all. Hang around. Uh, hit the like button also. So Richie Grant. Like I said, man, um, some people think I hate safety because I'm so critical of it. Uh, it's just that I just think everybody's not special. I think when you see a safety and they make a bunch of tackles, you go, hey, that dude made a bunch of tackles. He really has a nose for the football. OK, cool. But that doesn't make him special. It just means that he makes a bunch of tackles. You know, uh, some safeties get drafted off size alone. Some safeties get drafted off of, you know, speed alone. Right. I think it's just something different when you when you factor in uh, the the combination of of those traits and we don't get a lot of players that have combinations of those traits i was really excited about xavier mckinney last year but i knew what he was in coverage i was excited about grand delbit but i knew what he was tackling right and and you would hear me say things about grand delbit i would say hey man look grand delbit is not going to be the best tackler in the world but he can give you good things as a one high safety uh so that's something to feel good about even other names i had other names written down uh you know like like uh like jonathan abram or whatever another guy that's a hitter right he's a hitter but he wasn't really cover guy taylor rap another smart box player who's a rotational player now juan thornhill who really got his job took at the uh at the beginning of the season i don't think one hill one thornhill actually like start i think he's playing now but like he, you know he was a he was he was in the rotation or whatever right i just think you know when you get these safeties they're just really gonna come and go for the most part and a lot of safeties in the class this year that a lot of people like they're really going to just come and go it's rare that you get a player with the combination of traits that can really put the nipple on the titty for you i think richie grant's one of those guys being that if he was only a single high on the roof i can play you know one high cover three safety dude if he was only that i would like him and i'll say draft him high second round just like you you uh you uh would take delpit or something right but what separates um what separates grant from delpit Yo, fam, I'm down. I'm about it. Let me go hit somebody. Like, I'll go lay wood. Then I can cover man so you can put me in the nickel if you want to every now and then, right? Now, let me just be fair here. Now, now what, what are the, the, the cons to Richie Grant? Because if you just hear me talk, you would think that Richie Grant is a top 15 player or something. Well, he, he's, he's, not, uh, he's not the athlete that a like malik hooker is you know like he's sub six uh six feet he's like five eleven and five eights or something like that uh you know is he a guy that's gonna go on the nickel and cover anybody in the nickel i don't think he's he's that guy i think he's he has some matchups that he'll be a little better than others in the nickel um is he the uh is he like the end all be all hitting ass free safety no he's not sean taylor or anything like that but you know, you know but can he make tackles versus versus certain running backs yeah he can make tackles versus backs well you want him in a one-on-one -on -one situation versus Derrick Henry no he's not that guy so one th not one thorn here um Richie Grant like I said he's not one of those safeties safeties that you think about taking top 10 but he is a safety that you can get super excited about um where would I draft him I mean it's, it's kind of early for me to get into top 50 boards and mock drafts or anything like that but you know when you think about where you're drafting them at okay let me just play this game you know uh me and my co-host jeff cavanaugh on our wednesday show scoutcast we always kind of do this uh think about richie grant and you can you can respond in the chat box comment sections and let's just kind of figure this out would you take a guy like richie grant over marvin wilson or then would you take richie grant over jalen phillips then think about where you would take him in contrast to like uh trevon Morrig, okay T to like then like alex leatherwood 
Right. Where would you take him in contrast to the, you know, to the best running back on the board? Like, let, let's say Najee Harris, right? Where would you take him to like Najee Harris? Okay. So in my mind, it, his ability to be one high safety really bumps him up because that's so rare. You can find one text. You can find pass rushes. You can find running backs. Finding a one high safety is so rare. It's probably been two to three of them in the past five years or so. And one of them is Derwin James, and he can't stay healthy. You see what I'm saying? So the rarity of finding a one high on the roof, Mr. Clark Loaded Lux safety, bumps him up a little bit. So you take that and you compare it to the rest of the guys. I think I'm taking Richie Grant somewhere between 19 and 45. If you get Richie Grant anywhere close to 50, you run to the podium and you go snatch that dude. That's just how I feel. Um, is he my safety one? I don't know. You're going to have to hang around till like April to get those rankings and then we'll cross that road whenever I get there. All right. Till then, man, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So, you know, when I drop random film sessions and live streams in the middle of the week, just like I did this one, I, I really didn't even warn y'all until I was editing it. So you, you just never know what you're going to get on the channel. Um, Subscribe to my Patreon, man. For uh, for one dollar, you can go uh, find all my long form film sessions, uh, and it's way more film on the Patreon than there is here. Like here, there's about like five film sessions on the Patreon. There's like forty or fifty or so, uh, and I, I I mostly work over there to to navigate the draft Illuminati, and I'm, I've kind of slowed down on it a bit, but it's still plenty of content for y'all to go over there and watch. So just hang tight. Um, until then, man. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski Piski Whiskey, man. Salute.